many people think that NASA is up to no good. You've got your flat earthers who say that the whole round earth thing is a hoax and that it's designed to keep you from knowing the real truth, which is that NASA likes to use a lot of CGI and none of their space missions are real. It's all just an illusion to keep getting their 0.5% of the United States federal budget. Is NASA trying to hide things from us about the planet and outer space? And are aliens real? Has NASA been in contact with them? According to some people, the answers to these questions are a resounding yes. We found some really interesting things that NASA might be hiding from all of us. With that said, check out these five NASA videos you are forbidden from watching. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Hollow Earth Conspiracy theorists are very interesting people, to say the least. Uh, at first, you have your flat earthers, and then you have people who believe in a round earth, and then you have people who believe that there's a huge hole which leads directly to the center of the earth. The conspiracy theorists called the photos devastating, and they say they support the bizarre theory that the planet's core is actually hollow, well, at least the outer layers 500 miles down, and they also believe there's a whole other world hidden inside. However, those same conspiracy theorists believe that NASA, together with the world government, is doing their best to cover up the existence of this massive hole which lies at the North Pole. The interesting thing about the Hollow Earth theory is that it's not a new concept, and the same goes for the Flat Earth theory. This Hollow Earth theory was originally proposed by Edmund Halley, who was the English scientist that studied the comet that has his same name. Halley's Comet. It was back in 1692 that he explained that the Earth has a hollow shell, two more concentric shells, and the core. It's not known who discovered the giant hollow at the North Pole first, but there were expeditions to go through this hollow hole at the North Pole and explore the inner Earth. Many hollow Earth theorists planned some expeditions to explore this massive hole, but due to some bizarre and rare coincidences, some members of the expedition team mysteriously perished in some accident. However, a polar explorer named Admiral Richard E. Byrd apparently was able to reach inner Earth, and he entered the hole and traveled 1,700 miles. He wrote in his diary that he saw giant mountains, prehistoric trees and plants, giant underground lakes, and different civilizations. It's said he also saw giant mammoth-like animals. And although the hole might not exist at all, it should be noted that it was rumored that Adolf Hitler wanted to assemble a research group to find a similar opening in Antarctica. Perhaps conquering the outside world wasn't enough for Der Führer, or maybe he thought he would find some special power or weapon there. Number 4. UFO entering the Earth's atmosphere. NASA's always being accused of some cover-up or another. UFO conspiracy theories began to swirl to life once more when on July 9th, 2016, NASA was filming a live stream from the International Space Station when an unidentified object comes into the camera's view, and then NASA, without any warning, cuts the live stream. In the clip, you can see a bright object which can be seen slowly falling into the camera's view and then suddenly the screen flashes that there are technical problems with the feed. Some people said that it could be a meteor or an asteroid, but in the feed, the unidentified object seems to come to a complete stop. It is at that moment when they cut the feed. Was there really a technical malfunction or is NASA trying to hide something? A NASA spokesman said the live feed was not deliberately cut and that cameras mounted on the International Space Station are controlled automatically and could not be cut by anyone. The spokesman said that the International Space Station passes out of range of the tracking and data relay satellites which are used to send and receive the video feeds. Those same satellites also send voice and telemetry from the station. When the station passes out of range, the signal is lost to the cameras and usually shows a blue screen or presents that video slate saying that they're having technical difficulties. Of course, the conspiracy people on social media networks aren't buying NASA's story that the feed wasn't deliberately cut in order to stop people from seeing the unidentified object, be it an asteroid, missile, or alien UFO. Many people said that the live stream cutting off at that very moment was super suspicious. As one person says, it's always suspicious when NASA cuts the feed when a suspicious anomaly shows up. That's a mouthful. Other people were angry that the feed was cut and tweeted to NASA to show us the aliens, please. And by the way, this isn't the first time that NASA's played with their feed sending UFO spotters and conspiracy theorists into a meltdown. 
Number 3. Earth-Sized Alien UFO as we were saying, that's not the first time that NASA's tried to hide an unidentified object. And when NASA's caught trying to hide something, the first people to know about it end up being the conspiracy theorists and the UFO hunters. A Martian researcher was analyzing an image sent back from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory when he discovered a black cube orbiting the sun. This isn't the first time a pixelated square has been spotted near the sun in images, and some claim it's NASA's way to cover up an alien spacecraft which get caught up in the images from time to time. Scott C. Waring of UFO Sightings Daily said the cube has been seen before on and off images. Sometimes the small cube's in three dimensions and other times it's in two dimensions. The cube has been spotted on a few different images that have been sent back from the satellite. A similar box was photographed floating around the top of the sun in 2011. Some UFO hunters claim that this is to cover up UFOs that are orbiting the sun. Scott Waring of UFO Sightings Daily says that scientists around the world have known that there are UFOs orbiting the sun and they are larger than the size of our Earth. Back in 2012, a YouTuber claimed that he had spotted a UFO while he was watching a video feed from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. He posted a video of a mysterious and unidentified object which looked like it was hovering over the sun. The video appears to show a pyramid-shaped object which is floating above the surface of the sun. Just one day later, NASA shut down the spacecraft's live video feed and it went into what's called the Emergency Sun Reactor acquisition mode. And what about the artifacts being a glitch? Some people have gone to great lengths to try and prove it's not a glitch by comparing two photos taken from two different cameras and at different wavelengths, and both photos show the same thing, and the photos were also taken two days apart. Therefore, it could not be a pixelation glitch or an image artifact. So does this mean that NASA is hiding alien UFOs from us? Number 2. Alien Base on the Moon it doesn't take much to get UFO experts going. Some old lunar photographs apparently show a distinctive triangular marking which doesn't appear in new photos of the moon. These UFO experts, called Secure Team 10, are always investigating some photos or video footage and then they share their findings from that footage online. The team has now said that newer photos of the moon include the same shape in the sky, which is virtually identical to the one that's on the surface in the older photos of the moon. This has led people to believe that the structure that was on the moon may not have been stationary, but instead, the object can fly and perhaps has been on or around the moon since it was first spotted. But what could it be? Some UFO experts say that they've found evidence of alien bases on our moon. Photographs of the moon show a small structure-like object, with some saying the small circles in the photo are satellite dishes for communication, but this is not thought to be a human base on the moon, and instead an alien base. The photos came from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Camera. This NASA satellite's job is to take thousands of photos of the surface of the moon and beam them back to Earth for study. Scott C. Waring claims that the M-shaped structure is the base of operation for some aliens, and it might also function as a spacecraft as well. In looking at the photo, you can make out the details of a white surface and sharp 90 degree corners, just like a building that humans would build. Other people insist that the structure had to be built by something or someone and refuse to believe that it's just a naturally occurring rock formation as NASA claims. NASA also says that such alien sightings are due to confirmation bias, which leads those people to see what they want to see rather than what's really there. We don't know if you find that really convincing or not, but the thing is, if they really wanted to hide something, they probably could. Number 1. NASA Hiding Aliens It's easy to understand why the conspiracy theorists and the UFO hunters claim that NASA is trying to hide aliens. It's a bit hard to trust these guys sometimes because the evidence doesn't really come across as definitive. But what happens when a scientist accuses NASA of hiding fossil evidence of aliens on Mars? Well, there's a top scientist who says that there are trace fossils which represented soft-bodied creatures that have been found and hidden by the space agency. Apparently, NASA's covered up this evidence of alien fossils which proves there were soft-bodied creatures that probably roamed the Martian landscape. The top scientist, Dr. Barry DiGregorio, says that images obtained by the space agency's Curiosity rover show that aliens once existed on Mars. Of course, NASA disputes these claims and says the shapes which look like creatures are nothing more than salt crystals. The scientist believes that the space agency is covering up the truth. 
He says that if you look at the images closely, the things that look like little sticks merge into the host rock, and these are features reminiscent of trace fossils. He also says that NASA's claims of them being rock crystals is false because crystals do not branch or twist. The scientist plans on putting together a team and going over the findings of the rover. He says that he can prove that these were living creatures at one time. Has NASA really covered up evidence of alien fossils? Just imagine for a moment that NASA really did find evidence of life on another planet. With this kind of information, imagine what would happen to religion and also the belief that there are aliens out there and that our planet has been visited in the past. Perhaps when humans end up going to Mars in 2025, we will know the answers to this and much more. Hope you enjoyed the video, Top Fivers. If you haven't already, check out our other channel, Americano, to enjoy even more amazing list videos. There'll be a link in the description, so check it out, as well as our other cool stuff 